Karawong probably suffered most from Wombat's disastrous attempt to take his family on holidays. But whether Wombat himself learnt any lessons from the adventure or from his rudeness is hard to say. But the holiday did discover a newcomer to the high country, <coughs> Gunda, the filly from the south, who had come in search of her lost young brother. Stupendous start. Have you been gallivanting around enjoying yourself when you should have been working? Enjoying myself? But your exalted concupiscence, I've scarcely recovered from being trampled by wombats. Then you... <laughs> ah. I'm not interested in your feeble excuses. You were shirking, Karawong. And no one likes a shirker. Oh, no, your limited convergence. I well, was... if you weren't shirking, you were working. So, what have you got to report? Report? What have I got to report? Well, uh... ah, just as I thought. Nothing. No sign of that filly who escaped thanks to Thaura's interference. But I've searched and searched and I... No buts, Karawong! Get airborne and search again till you find her. But, but... No buts, I said! Now get going! Going, going. Good as gone. But... <laughs> What do you say? Interested in joining my herd? Nothing's changed, Arrow. We're not interested in joining your herd. Even if one existed. Oh, yeah. Well, that was before. Things are different now. You've had time to think, to weigh up the possibilities, to see how impressive I am. <laughs> yeah, and to change your mind. Mm, it's that dolt Arrow. At it again with my master's daughters. Doesn't he ever give up? Look, girls, the brold is getting too old for the job. Won't be long before I take over his kingdom and his herd. And you two could be head mares. If you play your cards right, you won't regret it. Well, if you put it that way, Arrow. It does sound tempting, doesn't it? I suppose we could think it over again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you whispering? And where is the filly? Uh, uh, which question do you want answered first, oh, Sybil and Santa? The reason I was whispering is... <laughs> that was not the question, and there's no reason to whisper when there's no one about. Now tell me about the filly. Uh, the filly? Well, yes, I found Arrow. What are you babbling about, you odious wretch? I ask you about the filly, and you tell me about whispering. I ask you about the filly, and you tell me about Arrow. 
What about the filly? But your loquacious mendaciousness, I'm just trying to explain. I was on my way to find her when I spotted Arrow trying to get your daughters to join his head. <laughs> Fancy that oafish dolt thinking any daughter of mine would have anything to do with him. <sighs> but it's been a dull day so far. We're going to have some fun. Come on! Coming. Oh, enigmatic uniqueness. I'm as strong and brave as your father, as you've probably noticed. But of course, he's much older and more experienced and... He'd be pleased to hear you say that, Arrow. Yeah, well, anyway, one day soon I'll beat him. And then it'll be me up there, King of the Brumbies! It won't be long. Why don't you tell him yourself, Arrow? <laughs> yeah? Well, I might. If he was ever game to get too close to me, I'd... I... What, like now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not going after him, sir. You almost had him. Ah, it's too easy. No challenge in Arrow. He never learnt the skills of the chase like Thor. Arrow's a wimp. Won't see him for a while, your vociferous vocalness, eh? Arrow or Thaura? Arrow? Oh, you won't see Thaura. He's too smart and light on his feet. What? I was just going to say that Thaura is too smart and too scared of you to approach your daughters. <laughs> Fancy Arrow thinking he could impress those fillies. Speaking of fillies, what about the one from the south? I gave you a job. What? The, the uh, uh, well, who? Oh, uh, pardon? To find her and find out all about her. Oh, but I'm exhausted. So? <sighs> So, I'm going. <laughs> so fit and so strong. What a magnificent young stallion, isn't he? Who is he, Kookaburra? <laughs> Peculiar bird. Perhaps that Brumby is the one my father sent me to find and get help from. And handsome. Handsome? Well, there's so many, aren't there, Mew? Oh, indubitably. Many handsome Brumbies. Brave. Not a lot of brave. Uh, quite a lot of reasonably courageous. Or not easily scared. Oh, a lot of not easily scared. And strong. Ah, strong. Uh, yes, well, I always find strength a hard notion to clearly define. Perhaps... And chestnut. Chestnut? Arrow? Oh, couldn't be arrow. Handsome, brave, strong, fast. No, not arrow. I don't know who you're talking about. Sorry, we couldn't be of more help. Out of the way. Out of the way. Ouch! Step aside, step aside. Wombat coming through. Oh, it's you, Wombat. Perhaps you know the chestnut stallion I've seen. Chestnut, black, grey, silver, brown, I know them all. And they're always where they shouldn't be, in me way. But this one is special. <laughs> no time to gossip. Things to do. Hey. Oh, look out of it. If it's not a Brumby, it's a flaming kangaroo. Hmm. There's no doubt about Wombat. He needs a path all of his own. Benny! Good to see you. How are you? Gunda, I've been looking for you. Thara knows you're here. If we wait down by the river, perhaps he'll meet with you. Come on, I'll show you the way. If it's Thaura. You'll know, Gunda. A future king is always easy to spot. Hmm. Actually, 
I think I've seen him already. Galloping with the wind. A magnificent chestnut stallion. Chestnut? That's not Thara. <laughs> it is possible on a hazy day to mistake Arrow for a magnificent stallion. Could have been him. What do you mean? If it was this Arrow you mentioned, he must come from a proud and noble family. He and Thara had different mothers but the same father. The mighty Yaraman, most noble king of the Cascade Brumbies. We southerners know of the mighty Yaraman. The chestnut is his father's son. Takes more after his mother. A mean-spirited, boastful mare if ever I saw one. I have to go now, Gunda, but you'll be safe here until Thara arrives. But just a word of advice. Beware of the Brolga. He's Thara's sworn enemy. Yes, I've already had one encounter with him. I'm told it was Thara who headed him off. I'll be on my guard. <laughs> Looking for a strong, brave young horse. Who is? The filly. What filly? The one from down south. Beautiful she is. Young and beautiful. Oh, yes, indeed. And looking for a young, brave, strong chestnut. I, I wonder, wonder who, who she means. means. Hmm. I've no idea. No. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Oh, Farah, I'm so pleased to meet you at last. The pleasure's all mine, Gunda. I... I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. <laughs> I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. Bah, humbug. He won't be so mighty when good old Brolga gets to hear of this. <laughs> the Brolga's spy? I wonder what he's up to. Boon Boon, look down there. Farah. But... but look who's with him. I'm sure... I'm almost sure that's my sister. Your sister? Talking to Thara. I never thought I'd see her again, or any of my family. Best wait here till they finish chatting. Then we can find out everything. Does this mean I'll have to go home, Boon Boon? I love my sister, but I also like it here with you and Thara. We'll find out soon enough, don't worry. Whatever happens will be for the best. My father's getting old. He was torn with grief when the wild storm scattered our herd. He thought his favourite son was gone for good. Then we heard news of an orphan foal far to the north. Hmm. I think your search may well be over, Gunda. And mighty Brolga, she thinks Thara is the greatest. The greatest what? You know your educated effectiveness. The greatest. <laughs> the way Thara saved her from you is the talk of the high country. <laughs> <laughs> the kookaburras are laughing about it. <laughs> the emus are the, 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 the gossiping about it. <laughs> all right, all right, your old powerfulness. Enough, enough. Show me where they are, Karawong. This instant. Aye, aye, mighty magnifico. <laughs> Urala, I was afraid I'd never see you again. Me too, sis. You're a sight for sore eyes. He's been well looked after, Gunda. And learnt a lot. You couldn't get better teachers than Thara and Boon Boon. I can see Urala's very happy here. And by the look of it, doesn't want to leave. But your father... will be very pleased to know that his son has such good friends and mentors. He'll know it's for the best. It's not that I don't love you and father, Gunda. And I do want to see the herd again. It's just... I know, little one. But the day will soon come when you have to take up your rightful position as leader of our herd. Let's hope for your father's sake. That isn't too soon. When the time comes, Urala will know, and we'll make sure he heads south with our blessing and our love. We'll leave you two to spend some time together. Come on, Thara. Benny? <laughs> I was fast and strong, did she? Very impressed she was. I asked everyone about you. 
Best finder, eh? Introduce myself. Impressor! You show them what I'm made of! Could be a good idea. Hmm, could be. According to legend, the mighty Yarraman brought his herd to this place many years ago. The mighty Yarraman? They're his father, right? Right. Well, this was his kingdom until... We meet again. I am the Brolga. The mighty Brolga. King of the Cascade Brumbies. Of all the Cascade Brumbies and feared by all. And you are a stranger. A very beautiful stranger, so I'm told. Mm. Not being a Brumby myself. <laughs> <laughs> you are a stranger trespassing on my territory. However... If you want to join my herd, you may be able to stay. Where we come from, we welcome a stranger who comes in peace, not challenge them. My father is a king, and he doesn't need any mangy bird to speak for him. <laughs> mangy? I heard that. I came to find my brother, and now I have found him. And I will go home and tell my father of the rudeness of the king of the north. I wouldn't stay in any land ruled by a king I didn't respect. Yeah, so there. What? Why? <laughs> Come on, your brother. Don't take any lip from the mercurial meanness. Go thrash them, sire. <laughs> 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 Sis. Oh, yes, you were very brave, but we must be cautious. Where is that Karawang when I need him? We could find them in an instant. The Broga! Again! <laughs> what? Why, that? He always turns up when he's least wanted. Come on, Broga! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Not this time! I'm staying right here till that filly emerges. Thaura's ploy hasn't worked. The Brolga hasn't budged. Patience is a virtue. If I wait long enough, something will happen. And when it does... Uh -huh. Look, it's the chestnut. Chestnut is right. That's Arrow. Oh! It's her. It's my admirer. <laughs> Hi, guys! Oh, shh! Be quiet. Stay away. <laughs> I heard you're looking for a brave, strong, fast chestnut stallion. Not anymore. You've probably given us away. We're hiding from the Brolga. Uh, this warrants investigation. <laughs> While you have the chance. <laughs> you two make such a charming couple. 
Your time will come, Thaura. Your time will come. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, stupendous El Supremo, that's the way. You cool off after giving that arrow a much-needed thrashing. Oh, what a charge, what a charge! And did you see the way the others scattered? <laughs> Terrified they were, mighty masterdom. Your reputation of being the fiercest, strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies ever is now beyond dispute. Dispute? Dispute? Since when has there ever been a dispute? Oh, uh, well, there are those that say, uh, that say, uh... Say what, Karawan? <laughs> Spit it out. Th that say, in fact, that uh, Thaura's father, the mighty Yaraman, was... Mighty Yaraman? <laughs> I crushed the mighty Yaraman in battle and took his herd. Absolutely, sire. That's what I keep telling them. And the fact that he was twice your age had no... <laughs> now, what was that about age, Karawang? Uh, nothing in it, sire. That's what I told him. Just like there's nothing in the idea that just because you're twice Thaura's age, it won't be long before... <laughs> The old war horse missed me that time. <laughs> oh, if only I could get my beak around a screen. Did you see me? Straight up that hill and boy, did I give the brogger a well-deserved hiding. I did it to save you and your Alaguna. No thought for my own safety. Oh, gee, Arrow, I, I don't know how to thank you. We watch out for each other. So I see. Urell is safe here, and he's in good company. No need for me to stay around. I'll give them the good news that he's still alive. It's a long journey. Take care. Maybe someone should go with you. It'll be my pleasure, Gunda. I know the way. And as I was telling you, I, I'm the bravest horse in the high country. Couldn't think of anyone better. Yes! It's a great idea! I could do with a change of scenery. Who knows? Might even like it down south. Hmm. Might even stay. Oh, well, Arrow, it's a very generous offer, but I'm sure I'll be all right on my own. <laughs> oh, well, well, let me think about it overnight. So Arrow is thinking of leaving the high country. He seems to have taken to Gunda a lot more than she has to him. But does she really want Arrow to tag along with her? At least she knows that her young brother is going to be in good hands.
A challenge is never something to be taken lightly. Among the Brumbies of the high country, it is a very serious matter. <coughs> typical, typical. <laughs> A matter of protecting a territory, or protecting a herd, or dealing with a rival. Thaura and the Brolga knew that a fight between them was inevitable. It was only a matter of time. For Thaura, the stakes were high. The chance to defeat the stallion who defeated and killed his own father, the mighty Garaman, king of the Cascade Brumbies. Thaura knew he must wait till he was ready to tackle such a formidable foe. That'd be right. That'd be right. Hey, what? Oh, what's going on? Typical. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only egghead around here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I am the king of the Cascade Brumbies. And this is your day of reckoning, Thaura. Ah! You tell him, your magisterial pompositiness. <laughs> Not a sign of him, your eminent imperialness. I can see that, Karawong. Because we are on the same level. Now make yourself useful for once. Get up there and spy properly, you unctuous inanity. Mmm, unctuous inanity? Oh, very good, sire. Very good indeed. <laughs> ah! Spy! Spy! Uh, yes, your lofty indulgence. Anything the matter, Boom Boom? Huh? Oh no. Just thinking about my father. He was all riled up, ready for a challenge. And so far, nothing. You should be on your guard, Thara. I hope you're always on your guard, Thara. Always, Benny. Don't worry, Boom Boom. I'm not ready for that fight yet. And I haven't forgotten your warning. Thanks for caring. And I was thinking about Arrow. Arrow? Arrow? Yes, Arrow. It seems funny without him around. Getting into trouble and complaining and trying to one-up you. Peaceful and quiet, I'd call it. Never thought he'd go. Me neither. I thought he'd be straight back. Gunda must have changed her mind about him after he saved her from the man. Let's hope he's not wearing out his welcome with the Southern Brumbies. Yeah, or he might be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you're both mean.
shouldn't have let that snake frighten you. Ah, look who's talking. <gasps> She's alive. Aranda, are you all right? Oh, oh I'm not too bad, I, I think. No bones broken, but it's a long way down. What can we do to help? The Brolga. Get him. He's the only one who can help. We'll get him, Aranda. Let's go, Mooley. <laughs> Tell the Brolga he'll be furious. What? Why? We'll get into trouble for being scared and leading Aranda into trouble. Oh, stop thinking of yourself, Molly. We've got to help Aranda. <laughs> So I say, better off without him. <clears throat> one less brumby in the high country is one less nuisance. Enough trouble with them what's left. Pound on the ground and ruining my home and... What are you doing, Wombat? Oh, what's it look like? Digging? Oh, bravo, you're a genius. I'm digging wider and deeper to get away from the pound and brumby. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, thank you. Now, I've got no time to gossip. Especially about whatever that forgotten Brumby's name is. Arrow? Forgotten him already. Oh no, the brother's not here. Ow! Ah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> What's got into you two? Uh, it was the snake's fault. Yeah. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do it. Snake? What? Didn't do what? Aranda. She fell down, but it wasn't my fault. And it wasn't mine. Fell down? What? Where? Down into the ravine. Onto a ledge. She told us to get the Brolga. But he's not here. Get up, you two. Spread out and find the Brolga. You'll know what to do. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just avoiding that eagle, mighty sire. They're a dangerous breed, not to be trusted. Oh? But what's a miserable eagle to you, mighty Karawang? You claim to be able to vanquish them with ease. <laughs> True, mighty sire, but I'm a trifle puffed today. It's safer down here. <laughs> <laughs> Teach you, you miserable excuse for a draft stopper. Maestro. Arrow, Arrow, what a dolt. Foolish horse, stupid colt. Come on, though, Pokey, wasn't that bad. So you've heard no news of him from the south? Not a jot, not a rumour. No tales of woe to tempt my humour. Ah, oh. so what else has happened? Oh, 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 I wouldn't tarry here too long. I think I spy the Karawang. Aha, he's here, mighty Brolga. <laughs> Told you we'd find him. Uh oh, the Brolga. That Karawang's such a grind. The Brolga's never far behind. Your time has come, Thaura. <laughs> Not if I can help it. See you, Mopo. Run, Thaura, run. Your day to thrash the Brolga has not yet come.
Must be hearing things. During the bushfire, so you can do it again. Mohawk, rest while you can, Dara, but don't fall in a heap. That nasty brogue is about to try that giant leap. Disappeared. He could have told me where he's lurking and. Father, forget about Thara. Aranda's fallen over a cliff. She needs you. Aranda? Well, don't just stand there, daughter. Lead the way. <laughs> Thanks, Burnburn. I turn. Into a willy willy? Me too. Isn't this amazing? And I spun and bounced. Oh, didn't suck up anything like creatures or dust. No, nothing like that. Oh, not like a real willy willy. Well, well, natter, natter, natter. If it isn't Brumbies, it's silly emus. Bah. How alike we are. Uh, aren't we? That's good. Sleepy? Oh, very. Sweet dreams. <sighs> Eagles, bats. What next, I wonder? Aha! The mighty Brolga hot on the heels of Boon Boon. I wonder what's going on. Aranda! Aranda! Are you all right? Brolga, is that you? I'm here with Boon Boon. Can you see any way down? No, I can't. And it's such a small ledge. I don't think there's any way I can be helped. Ugh. It's so steep. What can we do? I don't know why you had to run off, sire. Just when I had Thaura cornered for you. I called and called, but you had quite disappeared. And naturally, I went looking everywhere for you, but... Uh, why are you looking over the edge? We are looking for a way down. There isn't one. Well, find one! Ah! The Currawong must be fond of me. It would seem he wants to share my tree. Hold on, Aranda. Must be able to think of something. Oh, 
A ram does not a mountain goat. To get out of there, she'd have to float. Mumbug! A ram is stuck down there. Can you see any way down? The easy way is to simply jump, but a rand would end up a mangled lump. Thanks, Mopoke. We know that. But is there any other way? I'll check it out. You can be sure. Perhaps there is a way to the valley floor. Hey, what's this? Trust that nosy old Mopoke to interfere. <laughs> I'll teach him for stealing my thunder. Oh, 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 what a blow. What news, Mopoke? Below Aranda is another ledge, pushed in with a great big head. But below that is a sheer drop. On her ledge, Aranda must stop. <laughs> There's one for you, old fella. Lobo, are you all right? I think I'm all right, but oh, what a fright. Ah, but what have we here? Something of interest out back in the rear. Where's that feather brain got to? Mopoke, where are you? There he is. I can see him. Aranda, you'll be safe as can be if you care to follow me. What's going on down there? Uh, anything you say, Mopoke. Wait for me. I'll help you. <laughs> Miranda, where are you? Through here, on the other side. Well, there's a bush, there can be more to see. Now, if you'd care to follow me... on that Karawong. This must be his fault. What happened? The Brolga tried to help Aranda, but he came unstuck. Mm. I'd say he cares for Aranda very much, which is more than he does for you. Heard you had a run-in earlier. I kept out of his way. I'm not ready for a fight yet. Now would be a good time to fight him if you wanted. In that state, such a victory would make me a pretty poor king. Hold off, Thara, just testing, and I'm pleased to see your wisdom grows. If I'm to be king, Benny, I must earn the title and the honour. That time will come, Thara, and it's not far off. Father! Father! I saw what happened. Are you all right? Perfectly all right. Naturally. How about you, Aranda? That was quite a fall. I'm as good as gold. Your father's got a bruise or two, though. He's just being brave. Uh. I'll stay and look after you till you get better. No need, Boon Boon. I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. Which is more than can be said for that dopey old mopoke. Ah, did you see the way I sent him plummeting? <laughs> That Mopoke was trying to save Aranda. Oh. <laughs> I can see you're going to be a difficult patient, Father. 
A difficult patient, I'll just bet. But Boon Boon's as able as any good vet. <laughs> Boon Boon is going to have her hands full looking after her proud father. And soon, young Charlie is going to have some looking after to do of his own when he sides with the Brumbies against his own father. And what's all this talk of arrow? Is something in the air? <laughs> <laughs>